there, I'm Natalie France. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This channel is all about you cultivating self-love through the practice of yoga. Therefore, if you haven't already done so, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video. Today's session is all about working your legs and I will talk to you more about that in just one moment. working your legs, so bringing strength to your legs, that lower part of your body. Your legs at the end of the day are what physically allow you to move forwards when you walk, forwards in your day-to-day -day life, and if we bring it to this idea of self-love, we always want to think about how we can walk and how you can move down that path of self-love. It's all about moving forwards physically with those legs and mentally in your mind. You're going to start standing today, so bring yourself all the way up into your Tadasana. So you're going to be about a foot distance away from the front of the mat. You can have your feet hip distance apart, toes tracking forwards, lengthen through the legs with very soft bones in the knees, tailbone down to the ground, roll your shoulders back and down and have your palms, so your palms are facing towards your front. Stay in here, close up the eyes and take a moment to connect to your breathing. Deep inhales and exhales, aim into in, out, Inhale in and out of the nose as you take those breaths. And you can connect to your natural breathing here. So you want to still aim to inhale and exhale in and out of the nose, but you can connect to your natural breath. And aim to keep those eyes closed as you lift your toes off the ground. So keeping your heels pressed into the ground, lift your toes, wiggle your toes around, give them some more space and some freedom. And then one to a few moments to move your toes around. Plant those toes back into the ground one at a time. So having that wiggling sensation from your big toe down towards your little toe, your pinky toe. And have that mindset that your toes are nice and widely spread, even if they're not. Just have that mindset that they're now evenly spread, more space in between each one, grounded down into your mats. And then starting to flick it open your eyes. Take a deep inhale in through the nose. Deep exhale out from the mouth to release. Another deep inhale in through the nose. Deep exhale out from the mouth to release. And allow that breath to now flow back in and out of the nose as before. On your next exhale, into your chair pose. So lengthen your tailbone down to the ground. Reach those fingers nice and long to the ceiling. Shoulders away from the hands. Shoulders away from the ears, I should say. Rather than away from the hands. Shoulders away from the ears. Lengthen the tailbone down. Make sure the weight is in your heels rather than in your toes as you hold it here. And then just take a moment to hold that chair pose. So now as you inhale, bring yourself up to standing. Exhale down into your chair pose. Inhale, bring it up, hands come down. Exhale, hands raise up as you go into your chair pose. So keep going through these two positions for the moment. Starting to bring that strength and movement into your legs. Take it down and up. Next time you come into your chair pose, hold that chair pose now. Stay here. Lift that tailbone down to ground, shoulders away from your ears. Bring your hands to prayer to your heart centre. Take a deep inhale in. As you exhale, slide your left foot behind you now coming into a lunge. Your right knee tracks over your ankle. Reach your hands out in front, your palms face in towards one another. So taking your weight over your right thigh, hold it here and breathe in to that High lunge or that lunge you're doing, I should say, as you hold it here and breathe into it. As you inhale, bring yourself up, hands come down and lengthen through both legs, shoulders away from the ears. Interlace your fingers, press your palms together, shoulders back and down as you exhale. Come back into that lunge, bend that right knee, right knee tracks over the ankle. From here, transitioning into your warrior three. So you can step your left foot closer to you to lift up, otherwise, step straight back from that lunge, lifting your left foot up 
is that while we're through that right leg is probably shaking now which is absolutely fine keep working with it lengthening through both legs your torso dips no lower than a 90 degree bend it's not about how high you get your legs if you need to bring your torso higher and legs lower that's absolutely fine if it's okay for you to go into a 90 degree bend then go for it keep your left hip drop down to the ground take your gaze to the front of the mat take one more inhale as you exhale slowly bring your left foot forwards so it's passing your right foot back into your chair pose. Inhale, come up to standing. Exhale, into your chair. Inhale, to come up. Exhale, back into your chair once more. Hold it here. Draw your palms to prayer to heart centre. Take an inhale. Exhale, step your right foot back now into that lunge position. So your left knee is directly over your ankle. Reach your hands out in front, palms face towards one another. Reach forwards, make sure your belly is lifting off your left thigh as you hold it here. On your next inhale, lift up. So your right heel set off the ground, you lengthen your left leg. Interlace your fingers behind you, press your palms together, roll your shoulders back and down. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring that, back, back into, bring that bend back into your left knee. As your left knee tracks over your left ankle, then either bring your right foot closer to you or lift straight up into your warrior three. Finding that grounding sensation of your left foot into the mat, keeping that torso no lower than a 90 degree bend. Right hip drops down, take your gaze forward. So foot in front of the mat if you're already past it, if you're somewhere in the middle of the mat, then towards the front of the mat as you hold here. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, draw your right foot forwards to be pounding your left foot back into your chair. Take an inhale in. As you exhale, release down into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Left foot to come the head. As you exhale, plant your hands down. You can step with this in your practice. Feel free to jump back into your Chaturanga Dandasana. You can have your knees down or go down for the full Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up to a cobra or an upward facing dog. Exhale, push up and back into your downward facing dog. Feet hip distance apart. Press your heels down to the ground. Bring your just nice and widely spread. Press into the pads of the fingertips to not bend any weight in your wrists. Feel that stretch in the back of your legs and your hamstrings. Keep pressing your heels down to the ground as you hold it here. Take an inhale. As you exhale, take your right leg up to sing into a three-legged dog. Keep that right hip drop down. Keep pressing that left heel down. Take an inhale. Exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. And then lifting yourself up in just a moment into a warrior one. So first of all, plant your left heel down. Make sure your left heel is in line with your right heel and your left toes are more to an angle to the side of the mat, like a 45 degree angle, your right toes stay facing forwards. Then start to roll yourself up to the spine as you come all the way up. From here, Draw your right hip back and your left hip forwards. Then bring a bend into your right knee so your right knee tracks over your ankle. And bring those hands up. You can have the hands separated or hands come to prayer to centre shoulders away from ears. So hold it in your warrior three. Hip square to the front of your mat. Hold it here for a moment. Breathe into it. Take an inhale. Exhale. Start to bring your hands to prayer to heart centre. I'm giving you three options for your hands. You can keep your hands to prayer to heart centre. You can take a grip of each elbow behind your back, or you take your reverse pair behind your back, palms together, elbows out to the sides. Inhale to lengthen through your right leg. Exhale, shine your chest up to the ceiling, and then bring yourself forwards into your pyramid pose. Keep drawing your right hip back and your left hip forwards, elbows out to the sides. Press your toes with the right foot into the ground. Hold here, lengthen through both legs, but very soft bent in both knees, so you're not hyperextended. No need to lock into those legs. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, bring a bend into your right knee, bend your right foot from your left knee down to the ground. And then lengthen through your right leg into that half split. So your left knee should roughly be underneath your hip. Lengthen through your right leg, flex the right foot. Again, always a soft bend in the knee. Shoulders back and down, find length through your back body. You're not rounding the spine to get closer to the leg, you lengthen through your spine. You inhale to lengthen, you exhale to forward fold. Inhale, lengthening, exhale, forward folding, finding that stretch in your right hamstrings. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, plant your palms on either side of your right leg. Tuck toes to the left foot. Bend, sorry, lengthen the left leg and then bend your right knee. Take your right leg up into a three-legged dog. Into three-legged 
Chaturanga Dasana. If you want to, otherwise bring your right foot down to the ground, take a modification. So you bring your weight forwards. Three legged Chaturanga Dasana. Inhale up to a cobra or an upward facing dog. Exhale, push up and back into a downward facing dog. Left leg goes up to swing into your third dog. Take an inhale. As you exhale, stick your left foot in between the hands. Make sure your left knee to start this tracking over the ankle. Bring your right heel down to the ground. So your right heel is in line with the back of your left heel. Right toes to the side of the mat. Lift yourself up. Roll up the spine. Lengthen through both legs first. Left hip back, right hip forward, so inhale, exhale, bend your left knee, so your left knee is tracking over your ankle, then bring your hands up, so your hands are either separated or palms come to prayer above the head, hold that warrior one for the moment, press that right heel into the ground, take an inhale, exhale, draw your hands to prayer to your heart centre, again, three options for your hands, they can stay here, you can take grip of each elbow or take your palms to prayer for reverse prayer behind the back, lengthen through your left leg, Inhale, puff your chest up to ceiling as you exhale to come forward into your pyramid pose. Keep drawing your left hip back and your right hip forward to square your hips. Press your left toes into the ground. Keep that lengthening through your spine. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, bring your bend into your left knee. Release with your hands, bend your left foot, then bring your right knee down to the ground. Make sure your right knee is underneath your hip. As you then lengthen back into your left leg for that half split. So again, keep the left leg straight with soft bend to the knee. Shoulders back and down, find that length through your back body. You can inhale to lengthen and exhale to bend one toe forward. Fold up out, land in through your spine and your back as you hold here. So find that stretch once more in your hamstrings. On the left side this time, take an inhale. As you exhale, plant the palms of the hands back down, tuck the right toe, tuck the toes of the right foot, lift the right knee, lengthen through the right leg, lift your left knee, take it up into a three-legged dog. Either go through a normal vinyasa, otherwise you take it through a three-legged, three-legged chaturanga dandasana. Inhale up to the cobra, your upward facing dog, exhale into your child's pose. Toes together, knees either side of the mat, lengthen your arms out in front of you, lift your forehead down to the ground. Bring that awareness back to your breathing. Bring the focus back to the purpose of today's session. Working your legs, bring that strength into the lower limbs to always ensure that you have that strength to move forward physically, but also on your journey mentally of self-love. Always look to where you're going, always focus on moving forward. Let yourself leave what's behind you. Think about the path you're now heading down and how you physically and mentally carry yourself in that direction. From here, start to walk your hands back in towards your body. Find yourself into a comfortable, seated position. You can be cross-legged, you can be kneeling, whatever is your preference. Palms can face onto your knees or hands come to prayer to heart centre as you close off your eyes. Lift out of your hips, lengthen through your spine, then bring your chin to chest. As always, thank yourself for taking the time out to show up to today's session and I am always grateful for you being here also. Take one more final deep inhale in from the nose. Feet exhale out from the mouth to release. Lower your gaze down behind closed eyes. So when you flick it open your eyes, your gaze is already down to readjust to the light that's around you. So lifting the gaze once you're ready. Thank you so much once more for showing up to today's session and being here on the mat with me. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up, share, let everybody else know about the fact that I'm here on YouTube and that if they want to kind of work through a journey of self-love through yoga, then I'm always here to assist. Until next time, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.